What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. I am out in the solar shed and it is time to finish this battery bank, get all these batteries wired up. As you can see, I have everything that I'm going to need to make this happen. We've got our cable that we talked about last time. Um, I've got all the right tools for the job. And we've got some goodies here. We've got um, some terminal blocks that are gonna go on the positive and negative terminal of the battery bank and then we've got our connectors. Now, you've seen me make connectors in the past, but I'm gonna go ahead and use some ready-made ones just to make this go a little bit faster and a little bit uh, tidier. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna measure how long we need the cable to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to one lug here, and then we're going to cut it to length over here. Now that we've got the right length, we need to use the right tool to cut these. So you'll notice that these are rounded in the middle and that's so that they don't crush when you cut them. So this is a special cutter that is made for big gauge cable like this. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut it where I want it. Like so. And then we're going to peel back the, the sheathing on the the wire and we're going to crimp on a new connector. So in order to crimp this we need to use another special tool which is one of these. And this is a crimper that is made to use with a, a hammer or a little sledge and so you put in the you put the, uh, the connector in there, the ring terminal, and then uh, this lifts up, you put it in there, and then you hit the top with a hammer and it will, it will crimp it for you. All right, now that we have this crimped, it's mechanically connected, but we want, I want to solder this to make sure that it is a, as good a possible electrical connection as I can get. So I'm going to fire up this little torch and I'm going to put some solder uh, in there, down in there to kind of solder the, uh, the little individual strands to the connector. Sorry guys, I had the, uh, the first part of the video on manual focus somehow, so I hope the uh, footage doesn't suck. Anyway, now that we've got the cables finished, uh, we're going to go ahead and install them. So we want to <clears throat> put on, first of all, we want to put on some dielectric grease to help give us a, a good contact and to prevent um, corrosion. I'm just going to kind of spread that around the ring there. Okay, we have all of them connected now. Now we, all we need to do is connect the negative side over here and the positive side to our load center. Okay, before we do that, we're going to put on these fuse blocks. And what these are is they're um, little terminals that, or they're little uh, blocks that go onto the terminal on the negative and the positive side, like I said, and a little fuse which you can choose what size you want. I chose 50 amp, uh, but a fuse goes on top of this block and will protect both sides of the battery bank from a short circuit. So this is what it'll look like before it goes on. You wanna make sure that you put the fuse directly connected to the, to the uh, terminal, to the block. You don't wanna put the washer underneath. Okay, so we have this completely wired up. Um, as you can see, I put the 100 amp uh, breaker right down there. We have 50 amp fuses on the plus and the minus side of the battery bank. So we are doubly covered. 
Um, this is more just for so I can turn the battery bank on and off so I can uh, work on something safely. It's not really uh, for safety measure, but I mean, it is going to trip if, if it detects a 100 amp load. So can't hurt anything. Um, and then the wires are going from in there up into the load center, which is not 100% complete because I haven't connected any of the, the uh, breakers or anything like that yet. So I won't show that. And I had intended to vent the box today, but I've been outside all day and it's really hot and I'm really ready for this video to be over for the day. So sorry about that. This completes the battery bank that I will just uh, mount a, a 12 volt powered fan on here somewhere to accomplish the venting of the box and maybe drill some intake holes somewhere to uh, intake uh, fresh air. And that will be about the size of the ventilation for the for the box. So not a big deal and not really anything that I necessarily need to show on camera. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. If you're just starting this video series, hit subscribe in the bottom right so you don't miss any more episodes.